Here's Scott, rolls out to his right, and pulls it down the run, he takes off, and he takes a lick! Ball is out! Scott motionless yeah, on the turn. He, got he might be out. I hope he is okay. You know, I'm, I, there's a good chance there's going to be a targeting replay on this as well. Because he, look, he, as soon as he got hit, he just left go of the football and hit the field. Uh, just spread out as you see him there on his back. Yeah, and this is pretty so we're gonna see. Yeah, we're going to see the replay right here. As the entire sideline for UIW is now surrounding their star man. I mean, he, he looks out before he, he yeah. hits the ball. And look, I don't think that's targeting. I mean, he doesn't lower the crown of his helmet. He hits with the shoulder and the side of his helmet. Lindsey Scott definitely got hit right on the jaw, almost like a prize fight. He get hit with that right cross, that right hook. Uh, but he definitely felt that. Um, as I suspected it is. Right. But I, I'm going to say this, and again, I'm not an official in the replay booth, but if it wasn't a targeting down here earlier in the game, I don't think you can call that targeting right. That's either. certainly if... Scott was an injury on play. I don't think they review it, but let's pray for that young man. Hope he can get to his feet and be all right. I mean, that was a shot. Herman Kristoff, we spoke to him last week before the Central Connecticut State game. A quiet guy. Man of few words. Brings, yeah. Man of few words, but he brings the wood, as you just saw on that play. And, you know, he did a great job on the play because he was in coverage. And, and he had to make a decision. I think Lindsey Scott made the decision, as you see, he's up now. He's up walking off the field, and that's a great sign. But I think Lindsey Scott made the decision for him because he tucked the ball away and said, I'm headed for the sticks. And so Kristoff was able to come off of his coverage, and Lindsey Scott really didn't have a chance to cut back. As you see the hit, I just don't think you can call it. It's not the crown of the head. I think that's the key component. But, you know, he couldn't cut back because of the pursuit of Arlen Williams. And, you know, and, and just allow Kristoff to come up and deliver a blow, force the turnover. And look, this is going to be another opportunity for Southeastern. You just got a sudden change. You're going to take over inside the 30, your opponent's 30. You got to cash this in with 6-12 to go and take a two-score lead and really put the pressure on UIW, who's now got to go to their backup to quarterback, Stephen Duncan, because Lindsey Scott's going to be in concussion protocol, and you don't even know if he's going to be able to come back. Right, I mean, he's definitely probably seen stars right with the fallback, too, because it looked like he was out before he hit the ground. The way his head snapped backwards on that fall could be a huge turning point in the game as both starting quarterbacks now picking up injuries in this one. And good to see Scott, like we said, get back to his feet. Hopefully, K return for UIW's perspective will be a huge loss, obviously. I mean, and I tell you, they're taking a long time to look at this. That that last one, they did not look at for very long, so I don't know exactly what they're looking for. Again, he didn't lower the head. He didn't hit with the crown of the helmet. He hit with the shoulder and the face mask, but he did hit him right in the side of the, the, the helmet, in the jaw area, and that, look, we all know if you watch boxing, you get popped with a fist right in that jaw, it's going gonna, it's gonna to bucket your knees. You know, so again, I'm not a replay official, nor do I want to be a replay official, but it certainly is taking a long time for this crew to, to make a decision on whether this is targeting or not. But it's a huge play because then it negates the turn. You know, if it's if if they do, here's here's the official with the call. closer to targeting. It was more the nature of the hit getting a star quarterback hurt that I think draws the flag. And that's a huge loss. We mentioned Lindsey Scott going out. This is a huge loss for Southeastern's defense. Herman Kristoff, one of their star linebackers, and he sees the shower. Okay, but here's my thing. And again, I'm not an official and I don't study officiating, but everything I've ever heard about targeting, there's two main components, launch or crown, right? Neither one of those things happen. So how is it targeting? I don't know the answer to that question. And look, Lindsey Scott's back in the game. Wow. 